So, Craig, how nice was it to have Brett back and obviously in, in perfect form uh, as we saw on Sunday? Yeah, obviously it was it was great to have him back there. I think our players felt the energy from him being back and, you know, just having a guy that's done it for so long going out there and, and punting the ball extremely well, you know, having both of his punts down inside the five-yard line was just awesome for us. And it obviously helped out our team, too. Uh, anytime you can get a team pinned back to, you know, inside the five yard line, it's obviously going to help us out. We're not giving away his trade secrets, but how do you do that? How do you get the ball to come back uh, like that? Have you, have you ask him, or does he kind of tell you the technique, or is that too, uh, too much trade until? No, I mean, Brett just does what he needs to do as far as uh, when we tell him to try to kick the ball close to the sideline, he understands that he has a certain line to get to. Um, and he'll pick out some place on the football field where he'll have his line, whether it's whole body or his footwork and things like that. But uh, without giving away too much of his secrets, uh, you know, he just does such an excellent job of pinning teams on a sideline, and it just makes them tough for them to return it. In the past, he said he's compared it to golf. Is that a, a parallel that, that, that you can make? Oh, man, he, lo he loves to talk about golf. Me, on the other hand, I'm terrible at it. You know, I got a terrible slice, so I really can't really uh, comprehend some things that he says about his swing, which is a lot better than mine. Uh, but yeah, it's a similar type of mindset, you know, and it's the same swing over and over and over again uh, that he's obviously done a really good job with. Um, not to say that he's perfected it, but uh, he continues to have a smooth swing, and obviously he does the certain things to help him out with that. Ever play golf with him, and how's it going when you have? Uh, I have not because I would be totally embarrassed, um, and he would probably look at me like, "Wow, that that's really bad, Craig." So, I don't really feel like him coaching me up either uh, on that. Uh, so I kind of leave that as the specialist job to go out there and do their thing together, uh, and then just let me, uh, you know, coach football. How's James uh, Wilhite uh, helped you guys out this year in the, in the kick and punt? Yeah, uh, a lot. You know, uh, happy with James that he's part of our, our, our team. Uh, you know, he's he's got a different way of coaching, which is great, like everyone else has. Uh, you know, he's he sits back there and he watches everything. And, you know, if he has a point to make, he'll just go over there and talk to him and do it in a different way that maybe myself or Matt Edwards would or even Coach Rabel would. Um, so it's been a good calming presence that he can go over there and talk to those guys and they can run some things off of him too. Hey, you know, if I do this, could you take a look at that? You know, because he's obviously done it a long time. Um, so it's, it's really helped us out and, uh, you know, I'm happy for him. So the, when you say he does a little different, you're, you're saying he's kind of a little bit more of a take it all in guy instead of an instruction yeah and, and I think that was one of the things that we talked to James in this whole process was um, we, we don't want him to go there and coach every single second like sometimes a punter and a kicker has just got to go out there and learn from their own mistakes and uh, you know when you get a guy thinking about too many different things it could actually just ruin the guy. So James has been that guy where he sits back there and watches maybe four to five reps. And if things are maybe going off just a little bit, he'll be like, hey, Randy, this is what I see. Brett, this is what I see. And then they'll be like, oh, OK, yeah, I see that too now. Um, and that's that's been a great thing because he's not always sitting there in their ear every single rep of talking to them. Um, and I think our players like that too. Does that come from maybe his experience, just being in the position, just knowing he doesn't need somebody in his ear all the time? For sure. Uh, you know, sometimes kickers like reinforcement right away. Some of them want to hear it later on. Some of them might not hear it at all in practice. They might want to go to the film room and watch it. Uh, so it's it's been good that he ends up just having a different perspective, and he's done it for so long, whether it's – uh, you know, through the summer when he was coaching kids or whether when he was playing at the University of Tennessee. Uh, I think that's really helped him along the way of giving those guys that perspective. It can help, I guess, when you have face division opponents as far as kind of knowing what they do, kind of knowing what to prepare for going into those games. Yeah, you know, it's funny just talking to their special teams coordinator a lot. Um, you know, every time we play each other, it's like, okay, 
we know how you do things, you know how we do things. Uh, it's really just going out and executing um, and, and playing hard, playing with effort and finish, uh, finishing longer than the guy with the ball. You know, all those little execution stuff that we talk about throughout the course of the week really helps us out. So it's not like we're going to totally surprise Indy on our personnel or anything like that, and same vice versa. Uh, we just got to go out and execute better than they do. Bullock getting, uh, I guess, increasingly hard to, to unseat, you think, uh, with, with one week after another of consistency? Yeah, I mean, uh, we, we always take it a look, at, you know, weekly basis, but it's tough when a guy is, is on, he's hot right now. You know, he's done a real good job kicking the ball. Uh, you know, when Sam gets back or whoever, uh, we'll, we'll end up making that decision when that happens. But, uh, you know, right now we're really excited how Randy's kicking the ball and, and happy for him. So, when that comes along, we'll, we'll end up talking about it a little bit later. Yeah, definitely. I, I, you know, I remember him uh, when he was playing with the Browns. And uh, when he ended up getting cut from the Browns a couple years ago, you know, I reached out to their special teams coordinator just to, you know, talk about the, the kid in itself. And he loved him. And uh, he's done both kickoff return and punt return. So that's something that we're going to work with him uh, a lot. And, uh, you know, if he gets the opportunity, he can step up and play for us.